Hey guys, Adrian here on behalf of 2PG.com, your great source for two-player and multiplayer games online where you can have fun, socialize and brag, get achievements and ranks. And today we're taking a look at Monkey Go Happy Marathon 2. So this is a game, one of the many games offered here at 2PG, where you are playing the monkey, the monkey cheering business is back on and you are playing the role of a, you pick a sad monkey and your, your job is to cheer him up by solving the puzzles and the unique kind of, uh, dilemmas that certain characters are in so what's so special about this game well it really makes you think you got to go around you got to investigate you kind of have to think outside the box and have fast reactions in some cases uh, to solve the puzzles and make your monkey happy here so you have a unique set of puzzles tons of levels to play through i'm gonna hit play here you can see you can adjust the volume in the top left you can adjust your quality as well uh, if you get stuck on a puzzle, you have the ability to get hints from the top right, which you can check out. They have tons of other games you can check out as well. This is a one-player game, so keep that in mind. Your high scores and achievements are there right here. Everything is simple, though. It's controlled with the mouse. Very, very simple. So you choose your monkey by simply clicking the monkey you want to play as. Um, and they're all kind of sad monkeys here, so your job is to make them happy. You can pick the... You can decorate them here by customizing them, giving them a hat. I'll give them the crown here. So you can see in level one here, your bonus is running downwards the longer it takes you to solve the puzzle here so in this case i have to shear the sheep so i'm guessing i have to click on you can see you click on something and you click on the sheep to interact with it now that's the basics of the puzzles you have a puzzle and you have to find out how to solve the issue of the whatever it may be so in this case it looks like the kid's sad here we can click on elements to find out what he may need so this looks like a piece of paper here and you can click around to see what it can interact with you can see here i can put it on the school sign and see what's in the backpack we have a marker here so we can see i'm guessing you write on the there you go you write on the piece of paper and it draws bus stop so he can get picked up for school. So now the monkey's happy, the kid's happy. In this case, it looks like we have a UFO and we have something in the bush here. I'm guessing it's the, yep, there's the alien. And this is one of those instances where you have to be fast reaction here to kind of click where the alien's going to be and then we have to put him back in the UFO. So it's all about timing and reaction because the faster you get it done, the bigger the bonus you get. So you've got to really examine what's going on and find out how to solve it. In this case, um, the goat has to get across to the other side. So we need to find out how can we get him across if we click on him here. Looks like he won't jump by himself. He's too afraid. So we need to find something that will... Uh, looks like in the bush here we have some barbed wire. Is he going to walk across? No? Maybe. Okay, so you put it on this bush. Let's click on him. See how he interacts. So he hits it and then he jumps. So you can see there you have to find ways to interact with the obstacles around you by using objectives. Here's another instance of the quick reaction. Looks like we're about to get in a gun duel. So we need to pick up the gun. We need to be as quick as possible to shoot the target there. And you can see there... That's, again, an instance of how the fast reactions here. So my tip, just look around. Look around to see things that you can interact with. If you get stuck, you can always restart a level if you want to try it from the very beginning here with your bonus reset. In this case, looks like there's a catcher's mitt here, and we need to catch the ball. And that's what the game's about. You know, looking at the map, looking what you can interact with, and see what comes into play by simply clicking on objects, seeing what interacts. In this case, we have a doghouse. We need to find out where to put it. So you want to click around. It looks like it goes right up there in the tree. And then you need to find the other object that interacts with it. So hovering around with your mouse, and you can see there, my arrow signifies that this object can be picked up. And I'm guessing we're going to put the ladder here so the monkey can climb up into the treehouse. Again, it's a really fun game. There's unique puzzles and really makes you think and go outside the box. And your objective overall is to make that monkey happy. Requires skill, patience, and you know timing, of course, because you, 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 while well, you got to be patient, you're also racing against that bonus to get a faster bonus and all that. But you really got to examine the environment and see what the situation is and how to assess it. So this is Go Happy or Monkey Go Happy Marathon 2, one of the many games offered here at 2PG. Definitely worth checking out. It's a really awesome game, a really great puzzle game of the mind. Uh, again, over here at 2PG.